scarlet blaze, the maiden's peril. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe, the first lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different count. We've been here before, but we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. If only Claude hadn't hatched his feudal scheme. We could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, he handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Once we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Ah. Uh. We broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdom's too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or we can wait until we scatter the Kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. As a professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. War doesn't wait. We should free the city while we still have the chance. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. General Randolph. Yes, Your Majesty. I commend you for holding Aryan Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. A more foolish man would have rushed to glory and gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have a key role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all. Very good. But do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. We have many more battles ahead and must conduct ourselves accordingly. Hey there, Edelgard. Leafing through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Roe declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, they fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. 
So why is the kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact that they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the alliances? Yes. And the empires as well, even though I do my best to treat everyone equally. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former prime minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? Greed makes it different, and I'd say betraying someone for money is lower than low. That's one way to look at it. I agree that what matters is the reason behind the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Though, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all these soldiers, and it... Well, I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way. And the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. It's you. What are you doing? Uh, hey, Ash. Not much, just perusing this tactics book. Have you read it before? I sure have. It was popular in Leicester a few years back, if I remember right. I picked it up myself back at the monastery, but it was so dense it took me ages to finish. It's a pretty tough one, I'll give you that. But there's some great stuff in here, too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on. You were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Uh, yeah. What's your point? I guess I'm just impressed you can handle such an obtuse book, given your upbringing. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. Honestly, I've been wondering who taught you ever since our time at the Academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. Nah, it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. 
Looking back on it now, it is kinda weird that someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Hmm. Well, I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. At the very least, it's obvious she was well-educated. That's clear just from looking at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of luxury. Really? I don't think it's that big a deal, personally. Oh, but it is. Not many commoners are literate and educated like you are. They don't need any of that stuff to make a living, so it's not really viewed as a necessary skill. You know, I didn't know how to read myself, until I met Lenato. Huh. And now that you mention it, I never really saw the other mercs in my company with a book in their hands. Except for the captain, of course. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. But it's not like I can ask her now. She's gone. Oh. What is it? Listen. Yeah, I don't know. Truth be told. Not good. Actually, hmm. I suppose. Got a sec? Hmm. <laughs> nice! 
Excellent. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Hi. Hear a girl out, will you? As it happens... Hmm. Okay, so... Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Oh, we must speak. something Is it? See you around. Welcome. Come back soon. Let's do this. A moment of your time.
My instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. Hello there. <laughs> Sure. Oh. Did you need something? How can I serve? to work you into shape. in many forms.
Will this make me stronger? Now you will... I'm getting the hang of this. Imagine this will serve me well. What a fascinating power. Hey, anything that makes me s I need more strength than this. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Hmm. Thing is...
Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Sure, that'll be no sweat. Best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted in the dirt. We all must do our fair share. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? Hey, my favorite. You sure know how to brighten a guy's day. Come back whenever you're hungry. As it happens... Are 
you serious? Did you hear? a good result. And of course, I'm worried about those who struggle at combat. Yes, we must do all we can to support them. I'll do my part to watch out for those who need help. Thank you. We'll do this together. Support people who struggle with combat, huh? If there's a more perfect job for me out there, I don't know what it is. Um... You ready, Bernadetta? Let's go! No! Why do I have to do this? Why do you have to train, you mean? It's not training, it's weird! This is torture and I'm gonna die! Hey, calm down. You'll only be fighting me. You're lying! There are people hiding in this armor and they're gonna attack me, aren't they? That armor isn't big enough for a person to hide in. You don't know that! I could absolutely hide inside one! Uh... I mean, yeah, okay, you probably could. Lysithia, well, too, now that I think about it. What? I'm going to tell her you just said that! Wait, this isn't the time for me to worry about that! The fact you're plotting against me is the issue here! Why do you hate me? Look, Edelgard said we need to help people who struggle with fighting, alright? Just trying to put that into action. Nah! You're gonna take me out with a surprise attack from the darkness! I know your game! And how would I attack you from the darkness when we're standing in the middle of the training grounds in broad daylight? You think all these people walking by would see me try to murder you or whatever and just keep going? No. They're watching me. I'm sure of it! Your armor is staring at me! Nope! That's it! I'm out of here! I'm going home to enjoy a life of freedom without my father! What? You can't just run out on me here, Bernadetta! I mean, trying to detect people hidden in suits of armor... That's one of my father's traditional training drills! I don't know any other way to do it! I don't need your lousy support, so just leave me alone! Maybe I'm not cut out for this kind of thing. Which battlefield are you headed to?
Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom. Fight starts now. Let's sing a few bars to get our spirits up. No messing around. I'm we want to win. Forward march! And don't let me catch you lagging behind. Let's get this battle underway. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. It is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I'm on it. No charge. Just <laughs> We can ill afford to be here. Time to get going. Ready for this? I take no pleasure in this fight, and neither will you. Take on anyone! I can do this! Apologies! I'm on it. No charge. Just 
Just leave it to me. Take a breather. Let's get Just leave it to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Looks like that's it for us. Time to rip. Take a breather. We have done it. Stronghold in the rubble! This stronghold will fall! I'll win the next one too, if I just stay focused. feels like decades, and still no Imperial army. What is the Emperor thinking? She promised to protect us. Calm yourself, my lord. They will come. We've received reports of a large army forming to the south of Aryan Road. 
They will scatter this siege to the wind. I have no doubt of that. They had better. It's her promises that swayed me into betraying the kingdom in the first place. I didn't do this just so my lands could be leveled by the King of Fargus' fiery wrath. The Silver Maiden will keep us safe. She yields to no invader. Viscount Elidor and Count Duval have both sent messages, imploring me to surrender for the sake of my people. Yes, perhaps it's not too late. I can lure the Imperial Army in and kill them, then beg the King for mercy. My lord! Lenato, you fool! Your rashness is to blame for all of this! This is no time to go soft, my lord. Turning our coats a second time would be abominable. One betrayal can be explained away with the right sort of excuse, but a second? A second paints the lot of us as feckless curs. Ugh. Then what would you have me do? Gwendol, you tell me! Command it, my lord, and I will gladly go to my grave. You, however, must not. Yet unless you have fought life and limb for your people, you cannot surrender with honor intact. Anything less would earn you the people's scorn, just as it did your ancestors. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, of course. It certainly would not do to forget that row blood is stained with treachery. Well, so be it. A weather vane must go with the wind, and a born traitor must finish the sedition he started. Wise words, my lord. Your people will thank you for this course of action. I'm ready to be battling. So be it. Fight starts now. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. I'll help you to the best of my ability. Meager though it may be. Not a problem. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Starting the mission, is that an... Bear witness. Not a problem. I've got the heck fight like this. I'm telling you all over the place. We did it. I got this. Take a breather. 
no use. We can't gain any ground. Starting the mission. Is that an order? This time, that should suffice. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Not a problem. I've got it. What's next? Retreat! All done. What is the next order? Begin. The sky. Here goes. Take a breather. Bear witness. <laughs> Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm sorry. We did it! Severe. I have to fall back. What next? <sighs> Starting the mission. Is that an order? Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm swapping in. I'll take over. We can if. I'll afford defeat here. What we can do. <laughs> Not a problem. I've got it. Wait. Commencing attack. Follow me. <laughs> This should do it. my comrades after this. I'm unstoppable. Praiseworthy. Apologies. Not a 
Not a problem. I've got this. It is done. This stronghold will fall! Just in case. Never! What's next? It's loading! This is all my fault. Is it my turn? Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Not a problem. I've got this. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. Some battle, but I'm glad we pulled through in the end. I'm getting a new. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. Why can't you just let me stay inside? The fight starts now. I have to focus. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this one. That's my cue. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. It's burning. Sure. I'm swapping it. Already? <laughs> <laughs> Retreat! Tell me somebody saw that! 
let it end like this. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. This. We did it! Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Battle will make a fine stage for my debut. Huh? You're being overwhelmed. Find your courage and fight. Not a problem. I've got this.
fearsome battle, but I'm glad we pulled through in the end. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Let's earn our keep. We have to strengthen our defenses. There's never Are a disadvantage sure? with me around. Do lend a hand, would you? Have to be strong.
to make a name for ourselves. strategy. to victory. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Grow stronger. I'm thrown into another battle. It's a fish. Take a cycle. breather. Go help. Um, please. You look amazing sure? even when you're fighting people, Dorothea. <laughs> Looks like that's it for us. In the name of my king. You have to be strong to serve. For Dimitri and for Lambert. Sure hope this goes okay. I'm sure you have your reasons. But your fate was sealed the moment you dared challenge our might. I'm 
Let's earn our keep. They're not taking this from us. This will be amazing. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Leave this one to me. That's my cue.
Not a problem. Take a breather. Not tough. Not good, huh? Not tough. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. I'm all right. You know what they say about playing with fire. Done and done. What's next? I'll take over. This'll be amazing! Here goes! You won't lose, no matter what! I'm not afraid to fight! I'm doing this for all the people I care about. I have to fight, and I have to win! Let's do this! It's probably best not to overdo it. Not today! I'm not afraid of you! All this work makes me want to take a break. That's my cue. Take a breather. Here goes. Hope this gets people fired up. That's my cue. So long. Defense. 
ending type, but hey, a win's a win. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Another step toward victory. Fight starts now. Here goes! They're not taking this from us. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got it. I'm all right.
should do it. Retreat! Hey, so this is kind of bad, right? No, not yet. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. We did it! Wounds are not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Severe. I have to fall back. Success was to be expected. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn. Time to make a name for ourselves. Not yet. Even the most beautiful rose has thorns. Have you realized that yet? Your spirit is admirable. I'm getting better, but... We're done for. The rest is up to you. It's burnt. Sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I've got... We've got... Tell me somebody saw that! The retreat is a vital strategy. It still fights. A taste more bitter than black as coffee. No, not yet. What's next? Just in case. Not falter. I almost feel sorry for that. Just wait. Retreat! It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. That's my cue. This doesn't look good. That's my cue.
should do it. when the war never ends. Your deeds will be remembered throughout Thorin. Here goes! Take a breather. them off. Only 
many thorns left on this rose. Not that there's any point in me getting strong. Fight starts now. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. I'll help you to the best of my ability. Meager though it may be. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're- It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay.
luck was on our side today. Seems like fight. to do my best. Let's earn our key. Stay safe. A life is the only Needless thing we can't replace. I'm with you. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Leave this one to me. That's my... Very annoying. I can still fight this, so let's take it for ourselves! What the? This stronghold will fall! Position secured. We have to endure this storm. won't be a problem anymore. They must learn who... Commence the mission. On your heels, Edelgard. I'm in a bad spot. You'll have to take. 
take things from him. What's next? Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Shall I dress you with? These people are simple. They must not be begging to be hurt. You are all pebbles by the wayside of Emperor Edelgard von Frostbach. I can't afford to slack off when someone as strong as you is leading the charge, AD. Just waltz in here and do as you please. I've got this. Rejoice! Victory is ours. are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there! Have some time to kill? Well, hello there! Nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Thanks a bunch. the future that's yet to come. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. 
We have a duty to fulfill. Let's earn our keep. This battle will be another victory I lay upon Lady Edelgard's road to glory. Best keep your wits about it. Right then, let us go to work. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. I've got this. to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. I've got this. You. <laughs> That might be worth the word of praise. If I did not think it would go straight to you. If I were to die here, I will gladly handle this. Orders re Remain open to us. Hit! 
The road ahead stretches past the horizon. This battle was little more than a way station. To kill. I will take all. There you are, Hubert. So what's going on? This couldn't wait for a more reasonable hour? <laughs> you are the last to arrive. But better late than never, I suppose. Yeah, well, you know it's not a real party until I decide to show. So what's the deal? As unflappable as ever, I see. Can I take it from your lackadaisical attitude that you know why I have summoned you here? Not even a little bit, but judging from the company, you clearly rounded up the toughest people you could find. Just thought I should play the part. It saddens me that I am not included in this toughness calculation of yours. Neither fighting or hunting have toughness for me. I am fighting and others are falling. It is a thing of ease. Get on with it. Yes, well, setting the question of toughness aside, your task remains the same. Can you please just get to the point already? I'm gonna doze off if you stretch this intro out any longer. Then I will do just that. I have received information regarding a small-scale raid on Garrig Mach. The raiders in question are the Knights of Saros, but judging by their low numbers, they are not attempting to reclaim the monastery. Rather, their goal is assassination. Specifically, they seek to eliminate Count Varley, the current head of the Southern Church. The Knights. Good. I'll enjoy this. I have knowledge of stopping assassins. Let us be going with all haste. I see why you brought the three of us along now. But still, you've got an entire army at your disposal. Why use so small a force? If we suddenly increase our presence at Garrig Mach, the Knights will realize they have been found out and cancel the raid. But I need them to carry out their plan to the letter so they might walk right into my trap. They will be like flies to the flame. Not sure that's right, but I get what you're going for. Even if the flies are strong, it all ends the same. You both remain as inspiring as ever. Now then, as we will be heading out tomorrow, we had best get our preparations settled quickly. Seeing as you are a long-tenured mercenary of some renown, I will leave the guarding of Count Varley's person to you. I hope it goes without saying that this is not a job which calls for improvisation on your part. Keep him safe and whole, and do it well. I mean, you talk like I'm the world's greatest mercenary, but I'm really just another sellsword. Pathetic. If such is truly the case, why did Her Majesty see fit to elevate you to your current station? Huh. Yeah, okay. Fair point. If you fight with confidence, you will never be losing. I will do what I must. 
Again, get on with it. Yes, yes, very well. Now, as far as Garrig Mark's current military capability... Bring me from the monastery and into the outer court. Is this is really safe. Perfectly so, provided you remain close. Aid them. Wait, what's happening? It's the church. They've come for me! Strange. We had no reports of any excursions. Well, no matter. Our target is Count Varley. Hurry up and deal with them! The future of the Empire itself depends upon my survival! Face me! It should go without saying, but for now, we need Count Varley. Do not let any harm come to the man. Thrill to hunt. 
Why do they pursue Count Farley with such fierceness? He played a rather large role in Her Majesty's banishment of the Central Church. As bishop, he gave legitimacy to her force of action. An action that carried great weight with adherents of the faith. Our best chance to eliminate this false bishop. We must succeed. You're pretty good at this, Petra. You've really never been a bodyguard before? I have only ever guarded my own body. In Britain, we had raids on assassins every day. I had to be learning with much quickness. The goddess is my witness. This is as far as you go! The most efficacious lure, dear Count. Stand, coward. Your life is forfeit. I feel nothing. Aid them. Is this all the knights could muster? It is a small raiding party. Likely they sent only what they could afford to lose. Still, I doubt that was the last of them. Child's play. It's a nice one. I should be 
save it here. <laughs> There's the dog! Don't let him escape! Oh, not again! Can't take another step! You have to stop them here! Right then, let us go to work. I will see my duty done. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. I will help. A number but well prepared. The news of our raid must have leaked. They make me sick. Still, looks like the two of us will have to pull this one out. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The sky. Princess of Bridget? Who served the Empire? I am serving Bridget, and Bridget is standing with the Empire. Each other before. Thunder Catherine. Today is in You really willing to die for this guy? Your life is forced. That's it. I'm going back inside and never setting foot outside the monastery again. 
I see where Bernadetta gets it from. Still, at least the guy's safe now. Child's play. Death We finished the cleanup and inspection of the walls, sir. We also cleared out the Knights of Seros's base at the foot of Garrick Mach. The enemy has been routed and is now engaged in a full retreat. Well done. That should keep us secure for the time being. Still, you will want to remain vigilant, Count. But you just said we are secure! True. I do not expect our enemy to launch any military offenses in the near future. But if not military, ah, uh, of course. I get it. They'll be sneaking through the back door instead of trying to knock down the front gates. I imagine another assassination attempt is already in the works. Probably something cowardly like poison or a dagger in the ribs. I shudder to think of those zealots out for my blood. I entreat you to protect me, Baron Barnabas. After all, I won't always have the Minister of the Imperial Household here to save me. The war has reached a critical stage, and his wisdom will soon be needed elsewhere. As steward of Garrig Mach, my life is in your hands. I will do what I can, of course. To start, I want you to confirm the identity of every single person entering and leaving the monastery. Also, the Gatekeeper must hear of these new attempts on my life, and ensure he keeps his watch most keen. That one is far too casual for my liking. Yes, well, enough of this. I must be off. Of course, Count Varney. Weird guy, huh? Stronger than he looks, though not inclined to fight. He has reminded me of certain woodland creatures. Though he is a fighter of much weakness, he has a talent for remaining alive. When you put it like that, he comes off like some sort of mastermind. But I guess all Imperial nobles are crafty in some way or another. Crafty, is it? Hmm. Sure. I mean, the two of you are nobles, and I'd say you're as cunning as they come. Yes, Hubert and Yuritza are both nobles full of cleverness. Don't forget to include yourself among that number. After all, I specifically selected the craftiest soldiers I could think of for this mission. When the enemy is neck deep in skullduggery, I need soldiers who are adept at thinking on their feet. Think I'm like you? Really? That's great! Only a jest, I assure you. But since it clearly pleases you so, I must admit there was some truth behind it. Good. Glad we got that settled. I tire of this. Farewell. He sure knows how to make an exit. We should be going as well. It lacks wisdom to be far from the base for too long. But if you wish to be joining me for a small hunt, we will be passing through woodlands on the way back. Sure, if it's on the way. This is filling me with happiness. We will be landing a nice catch, then return home. Maybe a bear or a boar. Yeah, that's not really what I'd call a small hunt. Petra? Hey, wait up! <laughs> it seems we truly are a crafty group, after all. Mm. 
Still, facing Catherine and Shamir time and again is a great burden to bear. But I must shoulder it if I am to protect Her Majesty. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Need something? My instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies.
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Can't wait to see how you do. Time to work you into shape.
I demand. Can be the different. Can't wait to see how you do. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Sure, I'll help. Very well. I will join you.
We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. I don't know how much help I'll be, but... Okay. must do our fair share. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Wow! That hit the spot! I'm so glad we're friends! <laughs> I see someone has been digging into my culinary preferences. Well, who am I to say no? Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flame. This is my favorite. Eating outside like this makes the food taste even better. Come back whenever you're hungry. Do 
you have a moment? I was wondering who it was, what fortuitous timing. Did you need me for something? Nothing in particular. I was simply thinking of having a little chat with you. Please, do relax. But I already am relaxed. I've heard your background is quite the mystery. And what's more, that you possess some sort of unknown power. It's certainly a bold decision for Her Majesty to put someone like that in charge of frontline forces. I don't know if there's anything bold about it. Oh? It seems you do not understand your unique position, then. Typically, wars among regions are fought between nobles and the knights in their servitude. But you are no knight. Merely a mercenary who commands soldiers in fealty to nobody at all. Maybe so, but all my orders come straight from the Emperor herself. What's the problem? There is no problem, per se. You excel at what you do and fight with true valor. However, protecting one's people during wartime has always been the nobility's responsibility, and theirs alone. Some nobles may feel insulted that they have to rely on a simple mercenary of unknown origin. Seriously? But nobles are usually the ones hiring mercenaries in the first place. On the other hand, it is true that Her Majesty has actively appointed commanders of common birth of late. This strategy has proven effective in shoring up our ever-dwindling resources. And, of course, the nobles have no choice but to obey Her Majesty. Which means there should be no particular reason for anyone to resent you. Didn't you just say they might feel insulted? If nobody's getting all hot under the armor about it, then there's no problem, right? That said, this does not change the fact that a noble's obligation is to protect the common folk. Though your exact origins remain unclear, you undoubtedly fall into the commoner category as it stands. Therefore, you are entitled to all the protection a noble is compelled to provide. Simply say the word if you ever require my assistance. Of course, Lawrence. You'll be the first person I go to. Capable guy like you has plenty of sway with the other nobles, after all. You know, at first I thought you were just coming to complain, but you were actually trying to be nice. Me? Nice? To you? <laughs> oh my, you are funny. Allow me to explain. I am the heir to House Gloucester, a noble among nobles. My offer of aid was not an act of kindness. It was a means to inform you of your place in this society. You would do well to remember the order of things here in Fodlan. So, you just came to tell me how I'm disrupting the order? You are complaining. Most certainly not! Do you really think me that small-minded? I've acknowledged your skills, and all I ask in return is that you act according to your station. Understand? Not really, no. I mean, we're at war, and you're seriously telling me I need to worry about how nobles and commoners are supposed to act? In any case, my job as a mercenary is to fight. Simple as that. You're wasting your time if you're gonna get all bent out of shape about me. I am not get- <clears throat> oh, Never mind. We shall continue this at a later date.
Another clear victory for the Empire in battle. You can surely guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary friend? Always a force upon the battlefield, that one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional, yet their curious power has also proved quite the boom. It is deeply fascinating, isn't it? Something beyond the principles of magic, and yet different from the power of crests. I might go so far as to say it veers close to the realm of dark magic, but I fear that's beyond my expertise. I am possessed of some small knowledge, yet still fail to understand the nature of that power. Then at present we can do nothing but throw our hands to the sky. And with that, I must be off. Oh? I thought you would be more curious about our mercenary ally. Will you truly raise the white flag merely because the matter lies outside your usual ken? What are you playing at, Hubert? If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Hook it and reel it in. Aha, but you are the better angler of the two of us. Furthermore, my method of hooking would complicate our relationship with so valued an ally. An inducement from your lips would ensure things proceed more smoothly. Well, this is becoming a hassle. Can't you push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies? Like, I don't know, one befitting the elegance of a true nobleman? Involving fancy tea, perhaps? A positively hair-raising notion. Please, do not speak it aloud again. Then maybe get in their face and pick a fight with them. You two could end up becoming fast friends. So you wish me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about like a common ruffian? I shall pretend I did not hear that suggestion. No. Then the only option left is aggressive persuasion. Driven home at the point of an axe, let's say. Linhart, who in the world are you talking about right now? I should think there is no one quite so barbarous in our own army. Hmm? Oh, I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> in any event, let us leave this sleeping dog where it lies. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure results of little benefit when we do. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Until next time, Hubert. So when can I expect you to have reeled in our mercenary friend? I suspect we'd make headway on the research if we engaged in it together. I'm afraid I've not the time to play along with your capricious whims, Linhart. I will, of course, be cheering you on with some enthusiasm from the shadows as you hook the subject yourself. My, if it isn't Marianne, how is the fine maiden today? Oh, Lawrence. I'm all right, thank you. Off to the chapel again? Your devotion never ceases to amaze me. I... yes, I am. Tell me, do you regret taking part in this war? I was most surprised to hear you were joining our forces, so if you are overexerting yourself for whatever such reason... I'm not, and I wouldn't say I regret it either. Hmm? I... 
we had no other choice. When the Officer's Academy shut down, my adoptive father insisted I join the army. I wasn't given the opportunity to say no. I see. So it is by the will of Margrave Edmund that you're with us. Yes. I can only presume he did so as a show of his loyalty to the cause, considering he cannot make much use of his own soldiers. Yet, you do not seem entirely on board with the concept. Are you sure this is what you want? If need be, I would be glad to contact your father and sort this out for you. Just stop. I'm fine with this. It's not like I have anywhere else to go anyway. This is the only option I have, so please, just leave me be. <sighs> Marianne, we are living through an era of immense change. This great war has entangled the three eminent powers in Fodlan, and will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on the continent at large. Not to mention we currently find ourselves arm in arm with the Empire, Lester cannot run counter to the rushing torrent of change. Um, why are you telling me all this? Listen carefully, Marianne. I believe this moment in time to be a wonderful opportunity for you to turn a new leaf. I too feel pressure to do the same, and I have spent my days reacting in kind. Why don't you and I welcome in this new era together as changed people? If only it were that easy, perhaps things wouldn't be such a struggle. I'm sorry. I will continue to be as I always have. All I can do is pray. If you'll excuse me. Good result. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. My instruction comes at a high price. Hey, new power! Oh, hey, new power! All right! What a fascinating power. Who knew this power slept I must make the most of this ability. I must make the most of this ability. This power will serve me in the times to come. I need more strength than this. This is quite fascinating. There must be more to this. Don't neglect your daily studies. Welcome. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Have some time to kill? Well, hello there! Come back soon! Uh, we must speak. Joy! My instruction comes at a high price. Thank you. 
Don't neglect your daily studies. to work you into shape. I must... I w Training can be the... With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Care to make yourself useful? on you both I'll do the best I can I'll do what I can we all must do our fair share This isn't good. It seems the fortress gates have been partially breached. The kingdom's soldiers are pouring into Aryan Road. Does that make us right on time or a bit too late? Dimitri is no ordinary king if he managed to pry a citadel like this apart. I assume our soldiers stand ready? We go on your command. If we dally too long, some of our officers and troops are likely to surrender to the enemy. That includes Count Roe, who has a most notorious sense of self-preservation. Yeah, him and every other noble. Come now, that is simply not true! Why, take me, for example. I am the perfect embodiment of what every noble should aspire to be. You can tell us all about it later, Ferdinand. Everyone, move out!
ready anytime. I stand ready. I will show you true nobility. My muscles will see me through. Another day, another stage to conquer. I'll do what I need to. I'm ready to be battling. Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom.
courage, everyone. Aryan Road is nearly ours. Keep pressing until we claim the main hall. The king's... I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. So... what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Starting the mission. Is that an order? The army is true to its reputation. Even I can only stall for so much time. They're closing in on the main hall. We must help them, and quickly. We must reach the main hall before Count Row is put in peril. Count Row values his life on the grass. If they get bleed to his throat, the man will betray us in a heart. The main gates are closed. We could circle around from the left or right, but... But the ground along those routes is filled with traps. We'll have to do this the smart way and use the gates. The devices on the walls to the east and west will allow us to open the main gate. Smash that stronghold into rubble! I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on! We'll never get anywhere with that device until we deal with the soldiers around it. Spikes just came out of the ground! Everyone, stay away from the pointy bits! Let's take it for ourselves! Bear witness. This place is a serious pain. Why can't the route to the main hall just be a straight line? Face me. Face me. I've got this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Main gates are open. What now? I'll hold the area around the gates, Your Majesty. You keep going. We can do this, Rainbow. None will get past us. The enemy controls the central gates as well. How aggravating. This is clearly going to be a multi-step process. First, we must use devices within the fortress to gain access to the walls, where we will find the devices that will open the central gates. Not a problem. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I... So you're saying we should start by using the two my devices turn. in front of the central gates? It is time. Uh, I'm the star my Why turn. does this have to be so complicated? Bear witness. Maybe they call Take her the breather. Silver Maiden because our hair will be gray by the Bear time witness. we finish this.
I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm on it. No chuck. Just leave it to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. So... What? Sure, let's try it. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Fighting? The great lion has only begun to roar! I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on! Let us bring it down! Face me! I'll take levers and switches over more soldiers any day of the week. be you, Emil. This is admittedly not the reunion I was hoping for. Don't make me kill you, Mercedes. Now, charge and attack! So you've become an Imperial officer? What a cruel twist fate throws at me this day. I don't want to fight you either, Mercedes. But that's just how it has to be. Please, Mercedes. No more. I never could bear to see you cry. Not then, and not now. Oh, very well. So this is where I die. Very well. I stand ready for what comes. slips away from us. Move faster!
There. Here I go. Now we can reach. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Starting the mission. Is that an order? I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. The other device <laughs> will open the central gates. <clears throat> Shall we call on Castle Gaspar's militia? They've been posing as civilians and should be near the main hall now. We must move on those gates. Time is our enemy. The devices we're looking for are up on the walls to the east and west. And I welcome you. We will claim victory. That should buy the main hall some time. In the name of the this king, should help. the Empire must be destroyed. All troops, advance! Reinforcements have arrived. Then we'll stop them. They can't be allowed to interfere with the rescue. I'm counting on you, Randolph. Defend those gates with your life. Commencing attack. Follow me. <laughs> Now, let us bring it down! It is time. We may be able to disarm the traps within the fortress. Yes. I saw another device like this on the other side of the wall. Let's disable it. <laughs> Smash that stronghold into rubble! <laughs> We'd be out of our minds to walk through a bunch of traps. Let's disable them already! Here I go! Now it is my turn! It'd be very annoying. Hi. 
Now to breach the central gates. You will go no further. If Dadu is here, that means Dimitri is too. It is time. Can advance. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Leave this one to me. Is that an order? Safely. I'll do my best! Take a breather. Here goes! Bear witness. Take your best shot. Dudu, I... Are you with us or not? If the latter, then face me with all the courage you have. My last battle was a fight. I thank you for the opportunity. Too late to swear fealty. I've no desire to take unnecessary lives. Wendell, I have decided to fight for the king after all. Help his majesty drive those imperial dogs back from whence they came. Why, my lord? How could you change sides again after all my caution? Here I go! So it's come to this, eh? So be it. Take our remaining soldiers and cut the Imperial Dogs down where they stand! I am your knight to my dying breath, my lord. I see you've dug your grave. Now you can lie! You won't get past me! Need to be careful! Forgive me, Your Majesty. I'm a little nervous. That takes care of their gatekeeper. We're nearly to the main hall now. Christian whelps, draw what blood you can from the lion. There's no more frightening foe than a lion on the foot of death. 
We want to slow the enemy. We must put as many troops by the main hall as we can. Hey, won't there are hidden stairs that lead from the east and west walls down to the fortress grounds? to make the... Well-fought, Welps. Kingdom Sweat. What you have me do? It wasn't supposed to be like this. You once had a place at our table. Leave this to me. It's such a shame. If the count has been struck down, I'll simply crush the enemy by my own hand. <laughs> Let us make this a clean fight. Take a breather. Take over. It is time. <laughs> Fall in. I got you back. You must have kept busy to make such strides in two short years. I can say the same for you. Now let's get this over with. <laughs> Few knights are truer than you, Ash. I bade you to keep living. You're weak! Your Majesty, I prayed this day would never come. Words are unnecessary. You're weak! A grand display. Aryan Road is the linchpin of the West. If we don't retake it, no, we must retake best. it. Point. All forces, fall back! Move, your majesty. I will guard your escape. That will not be necessary to do. Stay with our king and live on. That's my... Swear that you will return to us, Ingrid. I could not bear to lose you. Bring victory to Farthest, Your Majesty. We finally have the advantage. Let's work on securing the rest of the fortress. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. So, what? Sure, let's try it. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this. So long as I stand, you will not threaten the future of Farkas, nor cause any of my friends and allies harm. 
It seems all the dreams and ideals you regaled me with aren't worth the dust under your feet. I'm sorry, Ingrid, but I can't turn back now. I have been weak. I've been unready. But I can still atone by giving the two of them a chance to escape. Are you here to help? Thank you. This stronghold will fall! It is time. Please, young mistress, surrender! Your life hangs by a threat. I know what's at stake. If I am struck down, deliver this magic... I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Glance to his majesty. Is the king safe? Good. Then I've done what I set out to do. She laid down her life to protect Dimitri, and proved loyal to the very end. Yet sadly, despite our best efforts, Count Roe and too many others perished. This is most painful indeed. <sighs> we must hurry, Your Majesty. The others have already withdrawn. I know. I know. Forgive me, Ingrid. It saddens me beyond measure to leave you here. The blame is mine, Your Majesty. I should have taken guard of the rear. Then I would only be mourning your death instead. The decision was mine, as is the failure. Every death this day rests on my shoulders. Your Majesty, please. She deserved so much happiness. Even after losing her betrothed, she faced life with strength and vigor, only to face the agony of death once more. It should have been me who died. How can I ever atone to Count Galatea? To Glenn? Please, don't torment yourself. Ingrid chose to be there, and she did so for you. Do not take that from her. In the name of this magic lance, I swear I will defend Fargus. So rest now. I will return for you when you are avenged. In I'm getting me. I found. A use. I am kid. By your valiant efforts, Orion Road has held strong. I thank you, one and all. Ah, I hardly broke a sweat. Those Kingdom soldiers were nothing. Wait! Nothing, then why was I having so much trouble? I thought I was surely off to my death when Count Roe turned on us. A fine job of pulling through. Truly, that dumb luck of yours is awe-inspiring. I can't believe we had to kill Ingrid. <sighs> she was a most formidable commander, Dorothea. We had no choice if we hoped to claim victory. I know that. You think I don't know that? 
Right now, we need to discuss our next move. I'm sending the main body of our army back to Enbar. They'll remain in the capital until they recuperate from this latest string of battles, and until we've had time to retool our strategy. We hold Aryan Road and the Western Church in the west, the Great Bridge of Murden to the east, and Garig Mach between them. We'll treat all three as key positions and endeavor to hold our lines there. After we regroup, we'll determine a proper time to resume our advance. It vexes me to say this, but I have been short-sighted. We are nowhere near achieving our goals in the Alliance or the Kingdom. My command has been riddled with errors, and for that, I apologize. Oh? And where exactly is all of this coming from? You usually exude confidence. From where I stand, we have come a great distance with minimal casualties. If time has been lost, we should be easily able to make up for it. I'm personally happy I had the chance to see Her Majesty's vulnerable side, even if just this once. Ah, uh, reassuring her with predictable responses, are we? Well, sorry. For once, I'm not sleepy at all. Nice try. That response still registers way up there on the Lin scale. I will be using the extra time to make improvements, so I can offer more usefulness in future battles. <laughs> I'm lucky to be surrounded by such consistent friends. about me? Do I count as consistent? I can always count on you to be you. And you may take that any way you like. So, we're finally going back to the capital. Feels like it's been ages. Couldn't come at a better time either. My bones could use the rest after all the battles we've been through. I wholeheartedly agree. The respite will help us prepare to face the Ashen Demon. Uh, yeah. About that. I've been giving it some thought, and I don't think we need to obsess over that anymore. But what about Captain Burling and your old allies? The ones who were brutally slaughtered, remember? You said avenging them was your dream. And think about how much hardship the Ashen Demon has put you through since you joined the Empire. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to prove I'm the better fighter. But imagine if we got someone like that on our side. We'd be unstoppable. It's time for me to put my wants aside and put an end to this war. For my friends. Unless you think that's a mistake. The Ashen Demon's mercenaries have fought for both the Kingdom and the Alliance. They don't have a cause, and they don't care who comes out on top in the end. It's all about who can toss them the most coin. And now that the dust has settled a bit, we've got a chance to lure them over ourselves. And here I thought you were intelligent. Think about it. Their allegiances have changed, yes. But no matter their client, they've always been fighting the Empire. Why would they join us now? For that matter, what makes you think our soldiers would want to fight alongside a person who's murdered hundreds of their comrades? Yeah, all right. Fair point. I'm glad you understand. Uh, hey, Varval? Yes? 
Why is it so important to you that the demon dies? Because I care about you, of course. I mean, I think that's the reason. Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do.